Before we get started this morning, I would like to remind everyone to please make sure that your cell phones are turned either off or to the vibrate position. And uh, please be advised that our city council meetings are also broadcast on television, on Comcast Channel 99, and they're also rebroadcast on WMGJ Radio. And if we look a little bit out of order this morning, it's because we are. Uh, <laughs> according to the state law, the, uh, the city clerk opens the meeting of an organizational city council meeting. Uh, we had our ceremony for the inauguration of all of our officials this morning at 10 o'clock. And we don't officially have a work session slated, so we're just going to take items as we come to them. So just bear with us. If we look a little bit confused, we'll have it down pat by next week. This meeting of the Gas and City Council will come to order, and I will now call the roll. Councilwoman Tolles? Here. Williams? Here. Worthy? Here. Eccles? Here. Billingsley? Here. Cannon? Here. And Reed? Here. We have a quorum present, and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask David Lawson to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Let us pray. Dear Lord, we're thankful for an opportunity to convene and serve the city of Gadsden, and we would ask that our motives and our intentions be submitted, as well as our own hearts and our minds, to you, that all actions and decisions and intentions would be in a manner according to your will. We ask that you give the new members wisdom, and we ask that you give the long-term members Encouragement to teach, encouragement to build them up, encouragement to work on one accord. We will be ever grateful, thankful, and happy to give you the honor, the praise, and the glory in the name of your Son who bore it all, Jesus. These we ask. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and the city council meeting held on October the 28th. So move. Second. Those in favor, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of the accounts for the week of October 24th through the 30th. So move. Second. Those in favor, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. At this time, we will consider a resolution uh, electing our council president. The uh, council elect met last night in City Hall for a work session, and uh, by general consensus of the council, we do have a person selected to be the council president, and that is Deverick Williams. So the chair will entertain a motion to adopt the resolution electing Deverick Williams as council president. So move. Second. Is there any discussion? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt, and at this time, I am going to relinquish the gavel to President Williams. Hopefully I won't have to use this. <laughs> The chair will now entertain a motion to adopt a resolution electing Johnny Cannon as council president pro tem. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? I second it. I don't know who I, I moved. It. I don't know who she got. We get a proper motion and a second. We do have a motion and second. All right. Call for the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 
Aye. Aye. Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to adopt. Proclamations, Mayor, do we have any? Unfinished business? I uh, don't think we have any today. So item num number 11 on the agenda is a resolution electing city clerk treasurer. Uh, this resolution reappoints Iva Nelson for a term ending on November the 5th of 2018. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So, so move. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All right, clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Thank you very much. Uh, more than welcome. More than welcome. And for those for, for those of us who don't don't know, uh, she is the right arm and the right hand and the right everything for the council. So we really appreciate Absolutely. what she does for us. Um, at this time, I'll ask uh, Martha Elrod, uh, who's our retired city clerk, uh, to come and administer the oath of office for us. very honored to do this and I was present for your inauguration this morning and I feel like the city's in good hands and I wish you all well and Iva is well trained she worked with me for 18 years <laughs> <laughs> and although I've been gone 12 so it's kind of uh, it's new to me again and Iva will you please repeat after me raise your right hand hand on the Bible I Insert your name. I, Iva Nelson. Solemnly affirm. Solemnly affirm. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Alabama. And the Constitution of the State of Alabama. So long as I continue. So Go ahead. So long as I continue. A citizen thereof. A citizen thereof. I will faithfully and honestly. I will faithfully and honestly. <coughs> discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. I love That's, that's the one time when you come in here and you get a warm feeling and it's not heartburn. So I, I appreciate that. Item number 12 is a resolution authorizing retention of employees. Uh, this states that the current officers and employees will continue as the new administration begins. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 13 is a resolution authorizing continuation of depositories. This also relates to the beginning of a new administration and provides that the current depositories will remain in effect. Chair, will you, the chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So move. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 14 is a resolution approving appointments of council members to standing committees. Um, this one is not ready yet, um, so we will uh, actually take this, take this item up on next week. So this will give us an opportunity to review the proposals and take any, any comments. Okay. Item number 15 is a resolution adopting rules of procedure for council business. The rules remain the same except the meetings on the second and fourth Tuesdays of each month will be held at 5 p.m. <coughs> Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So move. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Yes. This is gives our citizens the second and fourth Tuesday of each month that works second shift or it's, uh, works hospital, good year, police officers, firemen, professional people, time to make sure they can be able to come to our city council meeting at night. I think this is a win-win for the city and the council, so it'll all be to, there's no reason somebody cannot come to a council meeting that wants to come. Mr. President, um, after the meeting last night, we checked to see if we had public hearings that had already been advertised. Uh, the public hearings for next week's meeting, which will actually occur on Wednesday due to the holiday on Tuesday, we did have advertisements already in place for 11 a.m. on that date. Okay. So, and then the council will not meet the following week after that. Okay. 
So what, what latitude do we have in passing this? Uh, City Attorney, do, do we need to pass this today or, or move it to next week? Now you go ahead and pass it today and, what, and we'll just uh, work on implementing when we'll start the Tuesday evening uh, meetings. Because like, it's like, um, like Ms. Nelson said, we have some, some items of business which we have advertised, which are meetings which are set in stone, which uh, we'll have to have the morning sessions. But I think uh, we'll, we'll make a public announcement as to when we'll start the Tuesday nights. Okay. Okay. All right. There's no other discussion. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries to adopt. Item number 16 is a resolution awarding <clears throat> bid number 3275 for on site grinding services at the city landfill. The NEAPA coordinator has recommended awarding the bid to Adams Clearing Company, LLC, and the amount is $5.06 per cubic yard finished and $5.16 and $5.26 for the following two years, respectively. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So move. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? What this is, for people who don't know, this is where we take in our tree limbs and stuff at the landfill. We have a grinder come out and grinds it up. It makes it into just little piles of stuff. It might be as big as this building up there. Once they grind it, it'd be one third the size. We use it for cover out <coughs> our inner landfill. Okay. All right, there's no other discussion. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to adopt. Item number 17 is a resolution awarding bid number 3276 for unfinished traffic signs and posts. Uh, the purchasing department has recommended awarding the bid to Traffic Signs, Inc. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Okay. Item number 18 is a resolution awarding bid number 3277 for finished traffic signs. The purchasing department has recommended awarding the bid to uh, Traffic Signs, Inc. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So move. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Number 19 is a resolution authorizing supplemental agreement number two with, Al with the Alabama Department of Tra Transportation. This extends the South 11th Street Bridge replacement completion date to January 14th, 2019. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? There's no discussion. Discussion, clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Number 20 is a resolution authorizing agreement with Jones, Blair, Waldrop, and Tucker for inspection quality control and quality assurance materials testing uh, regarding the Black Creek drainage improvements pipe replacement project. This fee is based on a rate of $900 per day for 30 days but the uh, consultation will only be paid for actual day's work. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So, so moved. Moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <clears throat> motion carries to adopt. Item number 21 is a resolution authorizing agreement with SNME for environmental services for a gas ventilation trench modification at the closed sanitary, sanitary landfill located off Nakalula Road. This free fee is projected to be $21,400. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So move. Second. Okay. Any discussion? 
Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. We have two items that will be presented today for the first reading. Uh, item number 22 is an ordinance amending city code section 118-129 to establish a no parking zone on the north side of Malone Street, uh, 90 degrees from, or 90 feet, I'm sorry, from North uh, 12th Street. Uh, the planning department requested this portion of the street be designated no parking to enhance traffic safety. This ordinance was presented today for first reading and the council will vote on it next week. Okay, item number 23 is an ordinance creating a pretrial diversion program for the Gazda Municipal Court. This is a program for certain offenders that meet specific conditions of behavior for a defined period of time and pay applicable costs and fees to have their charges mitigated. This ordinance, uh, again, has been presented today for the first reading, and the council will vote on it next week. Okay. If it uh, pleases the council, uh, we'll allow Judge King to come up and speak on this program. Anybody object? Fine. Okay. Judge King, if you would, state your name. and. Uh, okay. I'm Tom King. I'm the municipal court judge of Gaston. I've been the judge uh, approximately over 10 years. And um, we've come up with a diversion program that there was a law passed in 2012 that allowed statewide to allow diversion programs. It's for misdemeanors and alcohol-related crimes. Uh, it would pretty much cover everything that the city court of Gaston, uh, the, the charges that they have. We're actually a court of limited jurisdiction where you're limited to certain types of cases, which are misdemeanors and traffic cases. But we come into this, we got the driving school that we did several years ago, and that's gonna take care of your, your people with the, uh, <clears throat> with the driving, driving problems. And then we come up and develop the program, the diversion program, trial diver, pre-trial diversion program that will allow individuals, one-time offenders, or whoever the prosecutor can thinks that they meet those needs. And we're asking the you know we're asking y'all to pass this for us so that we can get in there and help the citizens of Gas. Uh, there'll be a fee, there'll be an application fee, and then a program fee, and then we have to put them into to a uh, to a program to, to try to fix what what the problem was. It'll help a lot of our citizens, first-time offenders of of misdemeanor problems, alcohol, drug related, and it's any kind of misdemeanor that we have. And I'd ask that y'all help us try to help the citizens go through this. Any I, questions? I got a question. Yes, sir. Uh, just saw this today. Uh, let's see here. It says a duly appointed by the city council. In other words, our own people that we already have hired. Yes, so there being no addition. What 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 it actually happen? You'll have someone come in to have say a, a marijuana charge. They'll come in before the court. Prosecutor will talk to him. He'll give them say, "Hey, you can you can plea on this." But well, we have what was called a pretrial diversion program, and they're going to ask him what that's about. Pretrial diversion program will allow you to see if you can take care of this problem. They would be required to fill out the, the application. They'll pay an application fee. Then they would go in there and see if the prosecutor approves them to be uh, for the program. And they will get into the court. They'll come before the court. They will plead guilty. And they will understand that they got to finish this program. If they don't finish this program, then they're going to the the, the, the uh, court is going to interrupt their their plea and find them guilty. And the court's going to find them guilty and assess fines and fees and punishment. And so, what we want to do is just try to help help the other help the okay, citizens. Okay. On number two on the front, it said the persons or persons charged with the responsibility of prosecuting the cases in municipal court or any legal staff employed by. By the city prosecutor, right? That would be the city prosecutor. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. That's fine. Judge, yes, sir. For the for the public primarily, if uh, if if an individual enters this uh, program and while it's pending, whether they're whether it's pending them completion of of, of the program, paying restitution, whatever, uh, will this reflect if they go seek employment with an employer? Will it will this reflect on a background check? D during the time that they are in the program, yes, it would. But what it's going to show, it's going to show that you've been charged with marijuana second. And then what you're going to do is um, you're going to go through the program. And at the end of the program, it's still going to be on what we call the NCIC report that you were charged for this. 
but it has been dismissed. Okay, and that's what they do. And then they, they've come up since last year, and I think it's still in the legislation about expunging records. We don't act, we as a court don't have the actual authority to expunge someone's record. So the municipal court doesn't. Uh, you have to go up to actually to the to the circuit court and to them to do that. Yep. But during pending your answer to that is during the pending of the program, yes, sir. They are they are going to show that they were charged and arrested for whatever crime they committed. And that when and if they're gonna do a background search, yes, sir, they would be able to, to pick that out. But the pro, but the end of the program, it's going to show that they. First of all, it's going to show this a not guilty. Then it's going to be not guilty or dismissed. Mm -hmm. And at that time, then the employee can say, "Hey, I, I was dismissed." You know, and so in, in juvenile cases, people under 21, it will be uh, filed as a wild youthful offender, which will not be actually on their record. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Any other questions? No. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <coughs> Vote. 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 That's right. First reading. Okay. Mr. President, if we have questions again concerning this for next week, can we ask the questions In, on indeed. this particular ordinance? Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, item number 24 is new business. Is there any new business? Are we going to do anything about the pre council? Mr. President, we have uh, two items that were in the pre council folder for today. The first of those um, was authorizing tax abatement uh, for a company, SIP. And I believe there's a representative from the IDA that can explain that to us if the council desires to do that. Um, I, I think there was a request for action today on that item. The other item uh, was a travel advance, which I think there was also a, a need to do that today. Mr. President. So if someone's willing to present that. Mr. President, if it's okay today, I'd like to bring up a resolution authorizing tax abatement agreement with SIP Incorporated of Delaware for major additions to the existing existing facilities please second. A second those Third. in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business let it be known as saying aye. aye aye those opposed consent has been granted i move to adopt please second, second. okay is there any discussion can we have the people that's here? Yes. It's going to speak on it. Speak on it. So I think Mr. Mr. McCain, can, would you please come up too? I'm sorry, Derek. Let me get to that one. Mm -hmm. Mr. 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 I'm Mike McCain with the Industrial Development Authority. We first recruited SIP Incorporated of Delaware to Gadsden over a decade ago, and since the first of the year, We've been working with them about the possibility of a major expansion of this facility. <coughs> Pardon me. As part of this process, we informed them of the economic benefits that would accrue through statutory, non-educational tax abatements for this expansion. And they utilized those numbers in evaluating the operating costs in Gadsden versus other locations where they could put this production. As a consequence, they have tentatively chosen Gadsden as a location for this operation pending approval by the City Council. It would involve their investment in this facility of $2 million, the creation over the next three years of 18 jobs at wages of $33,000 to $40,000 per year, depending upon skill levels, plus fringe benefits. Um, in the past, the Gadsden City Council has given us the authority to communicate the availability of these abatements to companies, uh, which then are subsequently presented to the City Council for approval. These abatements are authorized by state law, and they do not include the abatements of any taxes that are earmarked for education. So it represents about a 50% reduction in those costs. Matt, would you tell them, please, where this is going to be located? Uh, SIP's current plant is 
uh, adjacent to the former Gulf State Steel property. In District 6. Yes. <laughs> I just want everybody to know it was in District 6. <laughs> Mr. McCain, could you repeat the number, of, uh, the number of jobs that are going to be created? Yes, sir. Over the next three years, it would be 18 new jobs at wages of $33,000 to $40,000 a year, depending upon skill level, plus benefits. And a total mm -hmm. capital investment, a new capital investment of, of $2 million. Folks, anytime you can see a $2 million spent in District 6, I am thankful. And those 18 jobs going in District 6, I am thankful for that. Thank you, Mike, for all you do for us. Thank you. One, one last question, yes, Mike. Uh, the, the, uh, these are termed as a major, uh, a major expansion, or this has been termed as a major expansion. J just for the general public, what, what uh, calls for it to be designated as a major expansion? The Alabama Department of Revenue considers an expansion to be a major expansion if it involves a capital investment of at least $2 million or an investment equivalent to 30% of the cost of the original project, whichever amount is less. Okay. Hmm. Right. Thank you for that. What do they make, Mike? Uh, SIP manufactures bridge decking. It's a structural steel fabrication operation. Okay. Uh, I have a question. What's the procedure for getting an uh, application for jobs at this place? Um, in the past, they have asked that job candidates fill out applications at the Gadsden Career Center, and most of our companies ask, ask that that be done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate the, the work and the and the, the effort that Mike puts towards bringing business to, uh, to, this, uh, to this area. He does an outstanding job, and we're very lucky to have him here, in, in the, in the, both in the city of Gadsden and with Etowah County. Okay. Are there any other items? We need to yes, vote Ms. on that one. Oh, we got oh, a vote, vote on that one. Okay. Call for the vote. All right. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Mr. President, I have one more, please. It's a resolution approving advanced travel expense to attend the National League of Cities November 18th to the 22nd in Austin, Texas. This is for Councilman Billingsley, please. Ask for unanimous consent for that. Sure, that. All right. It's been motioned and second. Call for the vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt, please. Second. Okay. Any discussion? This is just travel expense for Mr. Billings to get to Texas. Uh, get I hope that, well, I hope there's <laughs> enough money for him to get back. That's where I was getting to. Mr. Avery, we always gave him money to go, and he always found his way back. <laughs> so, Mr. Billings, it's on you to get back. <laughs> All right, there's no other discussion. Call for the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Any, any other new items? Okay, department reports, committees, boards. All right. Item number 26 is citizens' request, uh, and we have on the agenda here Ms. Doris Collier with a red carpet event uh, to speak about the red carpet event at the Pittman Theater on November 15th. So come on up. My name is <coughs> Doris Collier, um, and I'm here to. Ex invite each and every one of you and the entire city of Gaston to a very exciting event that we're going to have. Um, the movie is called The Borrowed Christmas. It's going to be held at the Pittman Theater on November the 15th. 6.30 is the red carpet, 7.30 is the movie. If you come at 6.30, you'll get to have your picture and meet all, with the, all the stars that are in it. Um, we have the main star coming in from Alaska, Sherry Morris, and also the main lead is Jeff Rose. Um, I'm the supporting actress in it, and we would like to invite all you guys to come. You can buy tickets at 
uh, downtown Gadsden. Uh, you can also get them at um, the Senior Citizen Activity Building, um, Meadowbrook Baptist Church, and the Family Christian Bookstore. So it's just a really uh, heartwarming film um, that we want to bring good, wholesome entertainment to Gadsden. It's going to be on the big screen nationwide, but we're going to bring it here first. So yeah. you guys come. Ms. Collier, what yes. was the price of the tickets? The tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for children um, 12 years and under. So it's going to be... Repeat that date again, please. Yes, it's going to be November the 15th, which is a Saturday night at 7.30. We're also going to be doing the sequel in Alaska. I just got word about that, so that'll be next year. Oh, what was the name of it? The name of it is The Borrowed Christmas. Borrowed Christmas borrowed Christmas. So you want to bring all your children and grandchildren. We just want to bring healthy entertainment back into the industry. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, I'd like permission to speak. Go ahead, sir. I think we decided that the meeting last night and at the rooms would be uh, Robert Rooms and Carter and uh, that we would ask for permission to speak rather than just grabbing the microphone and everybody trying to talk at one time. So I would appreciate if you would either enforce it or tell us we don't have to do one or the other. Do we know that? Do we know that, Mr. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, item number 27 is uh, remarks by the mayor and council. Uh, and we'll start uh, with the mayor. Thank you, Mr. President. The only thing I've got to say is tomorrow is election day. We got some very important races, Senate District 10, and also I think the county commission and revenue uh, with Etowah County, I believe they're on the ballot too. Is that correct? So uh, we really need people to go vote. A lot of times people say, ah, oh, they're going to do what they want to, but we don't get the right people in there they will but it won't help us any so we got to get the right ones in there that's all I got thank you I'd like to take a saying from mr. Rogers it's a great day in the neighborhood <laughs> it's a great day because we now have an opportunity to serve Gaston to serve the people of Gaston and, and as we came out today I continue to ask for the support of Gaston not only District 1 through District 7 but Gaston so that we can be competent citizens we can work together pay attention to what's going on around us so that we can make our city better thank you very good Mr. Evans. Well, I'd like to say amen to what the mayor said and also what Ms. Toll said. Uh, we need to all work together and try to make the city a better place. Thank you. Councilman Worthy. Thank you. I would just like to say thank you to District 3 for allowing me to serve you not only District 3, but the whole city of Gaston. I'm humbled and I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with this council and the citizens of Gaston. And I solicit your prayers because it's not going to be easy. So just uh, continue praying for me and thank you. Okay. Councilman Billings. Uh, I'd just like to say I want to thank everybody for coming out today and I echo everybody else that It'll take all of us to make it work, and uh, I, I think we have a good group up here that will work together and accomplish some things for the city. Thank you. Councilman Cannon. <clears throat> I, can't, I couldn't wait to get my turn to talk today. I just could not wait. It's been, I've been up here for eight years, sitting on this council, having to look at all these ugly faces, and for now, for once, I'm up here on this council. We have a beautiful A like Miss Toast to make us all look good. <laughs> I appreciate you. That's all I got. Mm. How's Marie? I was going to say something nice about the council, but, you know. 
but I think you're a nice lady and a very attractive lady. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, y'all, and welcome. So I mean that sincerely. I think we're going to do extremely well in the next four years. Uh, I do want to take the opportunity to thank my wife. She's the one that allowed me to do this. After all, she stood by me. The voters who, uh, who I serve, but the third one is the city employees who make me look good. And that's absolutely where it all, all comes to. Anyway, welcome, y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. All right. So, uh, Mr. Eccles was, was very much prone to, to not having comments. So get, get ready. I'm probably going to have something to say every week, but, 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 I, but I'll keep it brief. It won't be to uh, council, former Councilman Harris's length, I can assure you. But uh, and he'll, he'll appreciate that. But I, I do likewise want to say that uh, I, I want to welcome uh, the, the new members of the council. Um, you know, I know each of them personally. And, uh, and Dr. Tolles, we finally got a doctor on the council, so that's that's always impressive. You just uh, you just improved the collective GPA of the council. I, think. So I appreciate that. Um, I, I also just want to say very briefly something about uh, the, the historical context of me getting to sit in this chair. Uh, Mr. Eccles was so kind, whether he did it intentionally or not, he gave me an opportunity within my last term to sit up here at least one time. And, uh, and so I, I did get familiar with what it felt like to, to sit in this chair. Uh, and I'm humbled. I really am. Um, you know, being council president simply allows me to, to uh, preside over the meetings and, and, uh, and drive decorum to some degree and, uh, and of course, make uh, committee appointments that we'll see next week. Um, so again, I'm humbled by, by that responsibility. I'm humbled to be a part of all of this. Um, and uh, I'm definitely humbled to see barriers come down uh, and uh, to see the city continue to trend in a progressive uh, manner. I, I, I'm really excited about, by all of this, but, uh, but again, humbled by it all as well. So thanks to, for all of you. I, I've gotten a lot of uh, kind words and um, and condolences from some, but uh, but I I'm, uh, but I appreciate it all, and uh, and thanks for the the, the love and, uh, and and consideration that's been shown uh, me and my family uh, as we step into this new opportunity. The last thing I'll piggyback on what the mayor said earlier. Tomorrow is election day, and uh, and I really believe uh, that we're going to see a uh, a very positive move. I, f I really feel that we're going to see the ballot speak tomorrow. Uh, so I want to encourage people to go out and vote. If you um, are at all uh, confused about whether or not your ID is sufficient, start asking questions today and ask them all the way through 7 p.m. tomorrow. But uh, make sure you go out and vote and participate in the process. Okay. If there are no other comments. Councilman Williams, I hate to interrupt you here, but do we need to speak? Uh, on our council meeting next week being on Wednesday? Actually, we do. Uh, next Tuesday, November the 11th, is a city holiday, Veterans Day. And so the Gadsden City Council meeting will be held on Wednesday, the 12th. And the 10 o'clock will, will be the hour for the work session, which is in the uh, fourth floor conference room. And then 11 o'clock will be the regular council meeting, and it will be here in this location. So next week's meeting will be on Wednesday. Wednesday. And Derek, I did fail to remember, because Billy usually did it for me, the Patriots Day luncheon, Wednesday at 11 o'clock at City at the Convention Hall. Get it the wall papers. Okay. All right. There's no other business. Uh, entertain a motion that we adjourn. So move. Second.